We are approaching the end of a technological age. Moore's law for computational power is not valid anymore, and the technologies forming the basis of our information society have almost reached their full potential. At the same time, we are facing severe global challenges, such as the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change, while expecting a continual improvement of people's lives and health. But in our quest to finding solutions for these challenges, we have run into a roadblock of immense amount of data that needs to be processed. But this requires an entirely different approach of computational power than currently available. And as we are running down the clock on fighting the onsets of climate change, industry heavyweights such as Bill Gates are increasingly betting on frontier technologies to get us out of the climate dilemma. Now, the latest buzz is around quantum computing, with much of the excitement stemming from the way data is processed and the exponential scale at which computational power is facilitated. Classical computers perform operations using qubits, which can only store data either as zeros or as one. However, quantum computers are relying on strange properties of quantum physics and allow for particles to exist in multiple states at once. What this means is quantum computing is all about qubits or quantum bits and these are basic units of information used by quantum computers. Unlike regular bits, which store data as either ones or zeros, qubits take advantage of the quantum phenomenon known as superposition. This means simply that essentially exists either as ones and zeros simultaneously. The big advantage of this in computing is that it exponentially increases the amount of information you can process. Think of it as that, a pair of qubits that can exist as either ones or zeros can actually embody four possible states at the same time. Three qubits can embody eight, but 300 qubits can embody more states than the atoms in the entire universe. What does that mean for us? Well, it means that processing models of analytical complexity, such as as complex as molecules, which traditionally look scientists 50,000 years and more to assess, can now be analyzed in less than one day. Consider this simple scenario to really understand the power of quantum computing. Imagine laying a deck of 52 playing cards side by side, facing down in front of you and wanting to find the ace of hearts with as few draws as possible. To find it, a human would start turning over the cards one by one by one. A computer takes the same approach, just faster. But a quantum computer would always find the ace of hearts on the very first try, every single time. Once applied to low emission technologies, quantum computing contribute to solutions that change how we travel, farm, reduce pollution, and all with an adoption at the scale estimated of happening within the next five to 10 years. This would lead to incredible progress for our societies and in our fight against climate change. This might help us design better batteries, creating more carbon efficient fertilizers, develop more targeted medicine, because a quantum computer could run simulations before a company actually builds real-world prototypes, saving us a lot of time, money, and error rates. 
one very high buzzed area of application is the field of chemistry, which will be dramatically disrupted by the development of quantum computing because it enables the advanced simulation of molecules and reactions. The technology allows us to flawlessly complex model complex molecular systems at a fraction of the cost and time, leading to developments of new materials for higher efficiency batteries or energy efficiency fertilizers. Normally, or currently, finding such new technologies is an expensive and daunting task. Because without the ability to simulate the properties of candidate molecular because without the ability to simulate the properties of candidate molecules a priori, it enables us to require a lot more effort. This is a big problem because, for example, global industrial production of nitrogen fertilizers alone emits more GHG emissions a year than the United Kingdom per year. And whilst existing industrial catalyst production remains responsible for 2% of global annual GHG emissions, this also comes with a hefty price tag of around $300 billion a year. Transforming these cost curves will be transformational in our fight against climate change. And the industry has picked up on this transformational power of quantum computing, with companies such as BSAF, Microsoft and IBM putting up considerable funding to replicate complex systems, such as photosynthesis, fertilizer production, and betting on collapsing cost curves as a consequence. The energy sector is also likely to be transformed by the emerging quantum technology revolution. For instance, quantum computers will be capable of optimizing power grids and predicting environmental effects of various energy producing and transportation methods without them actually be put into the real life scenarios straight away. Of course, the much higher efficiency of a quantum based calculation device will make the energy consumption also significantly smaller than if using compu conventional computers for the same tasks. Also, Quantum computing is likely to be superior in predicting material properties, as relevant, for instance, in the exploration of more efficient materials for batteries or photovoltaics, where the interaction between the light and the material is indeed quantum in nature. Simply put, the future the financial and the environmental gains of this new technology could be absolutely immense. And according to research by NASDAQ, the productivity gains by end users of this technology in the form of cost savings and revenue opportunities are expected to surpass $450 billion per annum in the next five to 10 years. Of course, there are roadblocks still on the way, such as the energy needed to handle the rapidly increasing amounts of data and information exchange on the internet. Still, without significantly increasing energy supplies in a sustainable, non-fossil fuels based manner, we simply cannot responsibly provide enough energy with current computational methods. While we take this into consideration though, as the pace of change needs to pick up rapidly and rapidly for us to move towards a zero target for the environment, for some it may feel as if we are building the plane as we fly it. Though to turn climate ambition into climate action, we will need to use all the life jackets at our disposal to ensure a safe, climate emergency landing.